Hello everyone. I am Dr. Mohan Raut and today I am going to speak on the subject lymphocyte immunization therapy or LIT simplified. I am a practicing gynecologist and clinical reproductive immunologist. We have our centers, Dr. Raut Centers for Reproductive Immunology in Mumbai, Nagpur, Pune and in Kuwait. In these centers, we treat couples with unexplained repeated miscarriages, recurrent IVF failures and unexplained infertility using immunomodulatory treatments like lymphocyte immunization therapy and other immunomodulatory medications. So coming to today's subject and that is lymphocyte immunization therapy simplified. Now why I have used this subject today is because a lot of our patients and even the doctors who refer patients for treatment ask us, Doctor, what is this lymphocyte immunization therapy? What does it stand for? And when it is given, how does it act? And uh, is it a surgery? Is it a uh, complicated treatment? Is it safe? Is it uh, effective? So today I decided I will explain this procedure in detail in a very simplified manner to understand what lymphocyte immunization therapy is and all about lymphocyte immunization therapy or LIT. So let's come to the words uh, lymphocyte immunization therapy. Now lymphocytes as you all know are a type of white blood cells. They are specifically important for immunological function and they play a very crucial role in various immunological mechanisms. Immunization as the word means that uh, is the process of modulating or changing the immune response by using certain reagent. So that is immunization or vaccination. Of course this is not vaccination but that is what immunization stands for. And third is therapy. So it is a type of treatment using lymphocytes, a type of white blood cells to alter the immunological response. So LIT stands for lymphocyte immunization therapy and active immunomodulatory treatment. And as I mentioned, it is used for couples who have unexplained repeated miscarriages, unexplained IV failures and unexplained infertility in which cases the underlying cause is most likely to be immunological rejection of pregnancy and therefore LIT is useful in these patients. Now, for which patients this particular treatment of LIT is given or used? As I mentioned, it is unexplained repeated miscarriages, unexplained IVF failures and unexplained infertility. Now, what do you mean by unexplained? See, in these conditions where there is repeated, where there are repeated miscarriages or IVF treatment has failed multiple times or a lot of fertility treatments are given but there is no success but there is no underlying cause found. Or by this I mean there are certain known causes which can lead to either miscarriages or IVF failures or infertility and if we investigate these couples, we find that all these underlying factors are normal and we label them as unexplained and it is these unexplained patients who will be benefited with lymphocyte immunization therapy if the investigations indicate so. So these are the patients for which we will use lymphocyte immunization therapy. What are the prerequisites? Now is it useful for all patients with lymphocyte with uh, reproductive failures or do we have to select certain couples? Yes, that is a very important step before giving lymphocyte immunization therapy. So we do certain immunological investigations to find out couples who will be benefited by lymphocyte immunization therapy most likely. The first one is called lymphocyte crossmatch or HLA crossmatch. Now this is a test which is done between you using blood of husband and wife and it detects anti-paternal antibodies or what are called as blocking antibodies. So these are the antibodies which are protective for pregnancy and which are generated naturally in the mother's body. If the protective antibodies are already present, the crossmatch comes positive. But if they are not present, then the crossmatch comes negative and that forms an indication or that forms a condition where immunomodulation using lymphocyte immunization therapy 
is most likely to be beneficial. There are other tests to find out the immunological disturbances in the mother's body and some of these are estimation of natural killer cells. Now natural killer cells are part of our immune system. These are white, particular type of white blood cells and they play a major role in the immune reaction that occurs uh, during the immunological response. So there are two sets of uh, uh, these type of cells, the destructive cells and the protective cells and there is a balance <coughs> between these two types of cells. If the destructive cells become more and protective cells become less, then that is not a good thing for pregnancy. So that is an indication of an immunological problem and these cells produce certain chemicals known as cytokines. And one of the commonest uh, cytokines that is produced is called TNF-alpha, which is responsible for the destructive action. And we can measure TNF-alpha in the wife's blood. And if the TNF-alpha levels are elevated, then that is another indication for giving lymphocyte immunization therapy. Apart from this, we can even estimate the natural killer cells in the endometrial lining by doing an endometrial biopsy and sending for immunohistochemistry to detect presence of CD57 type of cells. Normally these cells are not present in the endometrial lining and if they are present, they are uh, detrimental to pregnancy and that is an indication for immunological problem and indication for giving lymphocyte immunization therapy and other immunomodulatory medications. Coming so the, Before in taking patient for uh, lymphocyte immunization therapy, certain more investigations are required from the safety point of view and that is the infection profile of husband and wife that is HIV, HBSAG, HCV and BDRL of both the partners and also blood group of husband and wife because if the wife is RH negative and husband is RH positive, the wife is required to be given anti-D injection in full dose that is 300 micrograms after the lymphocyte immunization therapy procedure. So once we select these couples for the procedure then we go ahead with the lymphocyte immunization therapy. Now lymphocyte immunization therapy as it is done in our centers is a single sitting process. It is a uh, uh, it is a patented uh, process, the protocol is patented and this involves basically collection of blood from the husband or sometimes from donor. The blood is uh, processed in the lab for separation of lymphocytes. It is a special patented process which we use for this uh, purpose and once the cells are separated, they are injected into the skin of forearm of wife injections are given on both the forearms interdermally. After this, the couple is observed for some time for any, for wife is observed for any reaction and then the couple is advised to plan pregnancy four, at least four weeks after the procedure. Usually the effect of LIT lasts for up to almost 18 months after this initial treatment. <coughs> so <coughs> many patients ask us, <clears throat> Doctor, please tell us what does this uh, uh, LIT procedure actually involves. So let me tell you again, LIT or lymphocyte immunization therapy is not a surgery. It doesn't require hospitalization. It is a one-time process. It doesn't require anesthesia. There are no stitches uh, of any sort or any uh, cut anywhere. And before the procedure, there is no special precautions are required or special preparation is required and after the procedure no extra care or rest is required. The couple can go home maybe in the same city or even out of the city the same day uh, without any extra care that is required. And yes, one more thing I would like to tell here. Many patients ask us, doctor is it a blood transfusion? Do, are you going to take blood from my husband and in, uh, putting it into, into me? That is not the case at all. One thing is it is not possible to do this because husband and wife may have different blood groups. <coughs> Second thing is we are not uh, putting the blood into the uh, wife. We process the blood, separate cells. So a small uh, suspension of cell preparation is made and that is injected into the skin for producing the immunological response. Now, if you are 
using blood and putting uh, from husband to wife are there any is it safe are there any side effects that's the next question that the couple asks us and even the doctors ask us now it has been proved by different studies and in our experience also of the last more than 25 years that lymphocyte immunization therapy is a very safe procedure during the procedure there is no evidence or no chance of severe allergic reaction what is called as anaphylaxis and also in the, on a long term basis also there are no immunological problems seen like autoimmunity or graft versus host disease in these couples or these patients even there are large studies international studies that have been conducted on patients who have undergone lit they were followed up for some years many years after the procedure and they also found out that there is no incidence of immediate allergic reaction and also no long term complications like autoimmunity or graft versus host disease so safety wise it is excellent at the most there can be little bit of itching at the injection sites there can be some skin rash uh, which can occur in maybe first uh, week or two but usually these are controlled with simple medications and it is that doesn't remain as a permanent problem it one more thing is this procedure does not suppress immunity many patients again ask this doctor does it suppress my will it suppress my immunity will i be uh, prone to more infections or other diseases so no lit does not suppress immunity and so it doesn't make the patient susceptible to infections it just alters the immunological response to pregnancy so that the pregnancy succeeds subsequently so if it is safe then what is the efficacy of the uh, procedure that is the next question that is asked is it useful for couples who have reproductive failures and there are a lot of international studies who have shown that lymphocyte immunization therapy if done been properly selected couples that is a particular subgroup of patients who have been selected by doing immunological test the success rate has been shown to be anywhere between 75 to 85% in different studies if you uh, ask about our experience which is there for more than 25 years and at our center for last 10 years more than 80% of our patients who have been selected with this uh, with the investigations have done well and let me remind you that these are the patients who are uh, uh, who have difficult to treat cases who have uh, unexplained ivf failures miscarriages or unexplained infertility so yes the, the procedure has Uh, an excellent success rate in se well selected couples so in short or in conclusion i would like to say uh, one more thing and that is lymphocyte immunization therapy is an immunological treatment but it doesn't suppress immunity it uh, it is useful for couples who have miscarriages ivf failures, failures or infertility but the proper selection of couples is very important for uh, for the treatment to be successful and it is a relatively simple procedure not a surgery doesn't involve uh, uh, any uh, uh, complicated procedures or medications and it can it is a simple one time process at our centers so i would like to uh, tell you in the end that for those couples who have these problems or if you know uh, couples who have been suffering with repeated miscarriages recurrent ivf failures or unexplained infertility then they have been told that their problem is unexplained lymphocyte immunization therapy can provide a solution for them and they can have the uh, their uh, fulfill their own dream of having their uh, own baby using lymphocyte immunization therapy thank you very much